Windows has a hidden upgrade pack that's completely free that almost no one talks about. It will let you do things like lock any window permanently on the top, keep your PC awake without fiddling in settings, and allows you to copy text out of images and videos instantly. It even allows you to create your own custom workspaces and window layouts. It's like discovering Windows has a secret sidekick, and once you see what these tools can do, I promise you, you'll never want to use your PC without them. So let's take a look. So the tool I'm talking about is Power Toys. Look at this. Oh my god, there's so many things. Look down the side here. We've got things like Awake, Color Picker, Power Toys Run, Screen Ruler, Shortcut Guide, Text Extractor, Zoom It, and so much more. But there's a few of these that are really, really important for academia and research. Things that are normally so blooming frustrating. And the first one, I just absolutely love. So if you want to install power toys that are not toys, they're like proper tools for real people, then you can get over to Microsoft over here and uh, just type in Microsoft Power Toys. You get here, you go install power toys. Now the thing is, is that they release this completely free and open source, which means people are adding to it, which I really like. Install power toys and it takes you to the GitHub page. Now if you're not familiar with GitHub, this is just where nerds go to share their software. Um, and ultimately you just go down to the uh, file set up here. So you just have to install the EXE for your machine. So per user up here, absolutely brilliant, easy. And then you just install it like any other software. And once you've installed it, it looks like this. Look, home, uh, general settings up here. This tells you Microsoft Power Toys is a set of utilities for power users. That's you because you're a researcher, by the way. And it allows you to streamline their workflows. Now, I really love this because there are so many things that are just awesome. And the first one I want to to talk about is down here in always on top. So you can click through here and see all of the options you've got. <coughs> I was spit on my own. <coughs> uh, choked on my own spit. Gross. So the first one is always on top and uh, always on top just means, for example, let's say you're working on something like this and you've got some notes here. I've just got notes, but you want to sort of like go here and then you can see it just keeps disappearing. That's annoying, isn't it? So here notes, oh, oh, no, oh, backwards and forwards. And it happens to me all the time when I'm working between different files and copying and pasting across and all that sort of stuff. So what I want to do is have this always on top. It was something that used to be, I think, available. I remember using it when I was doing my PhD back in the old days, but they got rid of it. So you can now use this. Um, if you go here, you can see that it's got the activation shortcut and you can completely customize that to whatever you want it to be. But ultimately it's Windows Control T and it's got this cute little sound. Check this out, I really love it. So say I want this on top, I click on the window and I go Windows Control T. Oh, there's a little cute sound. I'm not sure if you heard it, but it goes blue loop. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Anyway, and then you can see it stays on top. You can obviously make this whatever size you want. It's got a nice big border and oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Something so simple brings me so much joy. And if you want to reverse it, you just do the opposite. So you click on here, con uh, Windows, Control T. Easy peasy lemon squeezy and there's way more awesome stuff. Another thing that you probably will love is this, Awake. Click here, Awake, and it just keeps things awake in the lab when you're updating things, when you want things to run, there's nothing more frustrating than a computer shutting down. Boo. And then just ruining all the time that you were wasting, just waiting for it. Anyway, um, here you can say enable awake and then down here we've got mode and you can say I want to keep awake indefinitely. And the great thing is you don't have to go down here to your power settings normally in the bar down here. You can just do it straight from here and it doesn't override your sort of like global power settings. You can just do it here and look, keep awake for a time interval, keep awake until expiration. Absolutely love that. Keep awake, keep awake. Oh, love it. There's so many times my computer computer shut down, it's just really, really annoyed me. Anyway, no more of that. Next one's awesome too. All right, I really think this one is an awesome game changer. Let's check it out. So Text Extractor is another tool that this comes with free. It's free. It's bloody free. Oh, got that feeling deep down below. Oh, free. Anyway, Text Extractor is amazing that it's free and you just click Enable Text Extractor if it's not already enabled and then Windows Shift T. So let's for, go, for example, somewhere where we've got like some lectures online. And look, I want to copy this, but oh, there's no way of doing it. I just could sort of copy and paste across, but no. Here, let's just use that other one. Uh, 
put that on top. And then look at this, look. Oh, that's so annoying. I want that. So the shortcut was Windows Shift T. All I have to do is go Windows Shift T. And then I get this, okay? Perfect. I drag it over what I want to copy. And then it's just copy. Then I can go to my notes and paste. Oh, that has saved me hours. Thank you, Power Toys. It will extract it anywhere from any point on your screen, from images, from videos, anything you want. So I think it's a really great saver. Love it. Some people complain that Microsoft isn't like Apple. Well, this is kind of a little bit like Apple because it's called Power Run. Power Run is, uh, or Power Toys Run. Oh, I got that wrong. Naughty me. Anyway, Power Toys Run is very simple. All you have to do is Alt and Space. They're right next to each other on the keyboard, Alt Space. Then you get this and you can type in anything you want. I wanted Word and then you just click here and it saves you going down here and having to use the Start menu like a Neanderthal. But now you can be trendy like Mac users and say like Alt Space space. Oh, what do I want? Hmm, I'm not sure. I want uh, Excel. Okay, yeah, there it is. Easy peasy. Look, just click and it's uh, it's there for you. The, at your fingertips, like a trendy Mac user. Ooh, we all like that, don't we? Another tool that I think you'll love is Color Picker. So it enables you to pick any color on any screen anyway. Really great when you're doing presentations, when you're doing posters, when you're doing anything visual that you need colors and it's just not in the same sort of uh, window that you're using it. So here, all you have to do is enable Color Picker. Activation is uh, Windows Shift C and you can change that for whatever you want as well. Uh, let's just cancel that. So let's say, oh, I want this little blue. How do I know what blue that is? I could sort of like try fancier ways by getting this across into, no, none of that. None of that, easy. This one, Shift C, and then I get a little color picker. You see that? That's cute, isn't it? Little, little thing. And I want this blue. Click on that blue and look, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We get all of this and uh, yeah. Simple, simple. If I wanna pick another color, if I want this one, pick another color, it gives you options as well. So it just gives you a really great way of picking the color without having to import it into other um, applications. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Especially for poster presentations where I gotta pick like the exact color of the logo. That's always a bit annoying. Another tool that I think is awesome for academics and researchers is Fancy Zones. Ooh, fancy. So here, enable Fancy Zones and it allows you to sort of create different uh, layouts for a screen. Really good if you're doing tasks that require multiple windows open. Quite often in academia, we've got to be over here and here on the same workspace and it's really, really annoying. So here, all we have to do is um, open layout editor. So you have to open this, open layout editor, and then you get all of these different things. So on my primary screen here, I want priority grid or grid or rows. And you can even create your custom one as well. So you can create a grid and then it allows you to, oh, that's on the wrong screen. You can't see that. That, that's rubbish. But ultimately, oh no, you can't see it anyway. And his name is let's John get rid of that. C there we are. Um, this one, this is what I want. Columns, create new layout, create, and then ah, there we are. That's the better one, isn't it? That's the better one. All right then. So here you can see hold shift key for a vertical split. Anyway, yeah, love that. And then we get a custom layout, and you can use that custom layout for whatever you want. Um, let's edit this. Let's edit that. And look, you can do that. Okay, yeah, 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 we get that. And then shift, and then that one, that one, and then if, oh, that one, that one, to remove stuff. Here we are, to remove the focus resize. No, hold the shift key. Oh, look at that, shift, shift, shift. Look, we can create all sort of windows. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Merge is super easy. You go across all of those and then click merge zone. You just drag and drop. Easy peasy. Merge zones, merge zones, merge. Oh, look, look, look. Merge zones? No. Yes, just one. I just want one on my screen. Anyway, fancy zones is a really great way of, uh, yeah, then all you have to do is just click columns. Yeah, double click that. And then all we have to do is click shift. Uh, let's grab something, shift, and then you can drag it to the column that you want. So I want that one over there. And then let's say I wanted uh, my other thing, drag and drop over here and there you can see it's easy to do that perfect and there's another thing as well let's expand that there's another thing you can go here to workspaces and if there is a task that you do all the time and you just want it sort of to pop up when you're going to do that task use workspaces and uh, it allows you to uh, launch a set of applications to custom positions and configurations with one click oh we love that as well save yourself some time get to the tea room then have a cup of tea some cake love it
There is so much in this tool and there's so much that I can't include them all in this video, but look, we've got advanced pace as well. We've also got down here, um, keyboard manager, mouse utilities. Oh, I really like that one. Um, mouse highlighter I like when I'm doing presentations. That's good, isn't it? So people know where you're clicking on your screen. Oh, I could have used it for these videos. Anyway, you know what I mean. And then we've also got all other things. Um, yeah, anyway, some of these I don't use at all. Some of them I use all the time. Make sure that you have a good explore and choose the ones you love. Let me know in the comments which ones you like the most. If you like this video, I think you'll love this one where I talk about making a poster in PowerPoint. Perfect for academics. Boom.